Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on graphing linear equations from standard form. In order for us to understand how this works, we're going to have to review a little bit about x and y intercepts. So this x intercept has the coordinates of 4, 0. What we know about all x intercepts is that they will always have a y value of 0. And the reason is, if it's on the x-axis, we'll go over a certain amount, but we won't go up or down. And looking at this y-intercept, it has the coordinates of 0, 6. So what we know of all y-intercepts is that they all have an x-value of 0, because we won't go left or right, but we will go up or down a certain amount. And so that's a quick review about x and y intercepts. Let's take a look at our first example. Here we have an equation written in standard form. What we could do is find the intercepts and graph the intercepts. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute in 0 for our y to find our x-intercept. Anything times 0 is 0. So we're left with 4x equals 12. And when we divide, we get x is equal to 3. So what that means is that we have an x-intercept at 3, 0, because the y value is 0. And then we're going to do the opposite to find the y-intercept. We're going to substitute 0 in for x. And so we get 4 times 0 plus 2x equals 12. Anything times 0 is 0. We're left with 2y is equal to 12. And when we divide both sides by 2, we get y is equal to 6. And so that means we have a y-intercept at 0, 6, because our x value is 0. And so using these two intercepts, we could go ahead and connect them with a line. And that is how we would graph this equation that's written in standard form. Let's take a look at another example. So here we have another example of a standard form equation. We're first going to find our x-intercept by substituting in 0 for our y. And so we get 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. Anything times 0 is 0. And so we're left with 2x is equal to 6. And when we divide to solve for x, we get x is equal to 3. So that means our x-intercept is at 3, 0, because the y value was 0. And now to find our y-intercept, we're going to substitute in 0 for x. And again, anything times 0 is 0, so this is gone. We're left with negative 3y is equal to 6. And when we divide both sides to solve for y, we get y is equal to negative 2. So we're going to have our y-intercept here at negative 2. And when we connect our two intercepts, this is the graph of our linear equation. Let's take a look at one more example. So again, we have an equation written in standard form. We're first going to find our x-intercept by substituting in 0 for y. So we get 3x minus 6 times 0 equals negative 12. Anything times 0 is 0. We're left with 3x is equal to negative 12. And when we divide to solve for x, we get x is equal to negative 4. So that means we're going to have an x-intercept here at negative 4, 0. And then we're going to do the opposite to get our y-intercept. We'll substitute in 0 for x. And anything times 0 is 0. So we're left with negative 6y is equal to negative 12. And when we divide both sides, oops, when we divide both sides by negative 6, we are left with y is equal to positive 2. So that means we have a y-intercept here at 0, 2. We'll connect our two intercepts, and this is a graph of our linear equation that's written in standard form. That concludes our lesson on graphing linear equations written in standard form. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those questions in the comment section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.